guys welcome to my channel I am the good the bad and the tarot um, I just have a few quick announcements um, regarding uh, the monthly general readings um, starting next month which is April uh, the monthly general readings uh, will be available to those who are supporting my channel on patreon um, if you click on this link here that will take you to my patreon page uh, for one dollar donation a month you will receive the 12 monthly general readings uh, that you normally see on my channel um, those will be available to my patreon supporters um, you will continue to receive the the 12 free monthly love readings each month on my youtube channel so uh, you don't have to worry about those going away and um, starting in April, my channel is no longer ad-free. Um, I will have ad-free content available on my Patreon page. Um, click on the URL that uh, I'm posting here for more information on that and also to visit my Patreon page. Um, also, to those of you who are interested in booking a private reading with me, I have a new scheduling tool that I'm using uh, to book private readings and um, check that out at the end of this reading. There'll be a link for you to click on. Also, if you go to my YouTube channel homepage, uh, in the banner header of, that, uh, of my page, there is a little link that says book a reading. If you click on there, uh, you'll see what services I offer, uh, three different reading types that I offer, and you all have access to my schedule, uh, so you can actually see my entire calendar uh, for this month and months ahead, and it will allow you to book your own reading at whatever time you would like. So it's much easier than having to email me and then we go back and forth. Um, this way you get a confirmation right away. It sends you, you know, connects you with PayPal and so forth. So it's just a one step uh, easier for you guys. And uh, uh, I'd love to hear your feedback on that if you are loving that feature. So that about wraps up my announcements and we can get on with your monthly general readings. Bye bye. I also wanted to mention that uh, starting this month I'm going to be doing the readings in uh, a specific order. That is uh, starting with um, whoever's birthday month it is um, for that particular reading. Right now we are, sun is in Aries, so happy birthday to my Aries. Uh, from then, from that point forward, I will be looking at uh, the statistics, uh, which signs have the most likes. So if you like a reading, uh, in order to make sure that I get to your sign first, you need to give it a thumbs up, um, or just, you know, give it a, give it a like. And uh, so the order will be whosoever's month's birthday it is, whoever's sign's birthday it is, and then uh, a number of likes from most likes to fewest likes. Um, okay, so I just wanted to make sure you guys knew about that. Thanks. Hello, Sagittarius. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. That's all I wanted to say. Uh, apologies for not getting to your mid-month reading sooner. Last week, I had to curtail my readings a bit early due to my illness. Uh, which I am in good health now, so uh, it's always imperative to me that my energy is uh, good, if not amazing, while I do your reading so that I can channel spirit and um, have pure energy, uh, the pure energy, uh, the vital energy that I need to carry through with the messages for you. So I thank you for your patience and understanding. Um, I will be getting through the rest of the readings this week, and they will cover uh, March 22nd through April 2nd, April 2nd. So again, we're going to be looking at the past, present, and future uh, for your sign, so nothing will change there, and then pulling an oracle card at the end. So these cards are consecrated, uh, 
sorted and shuffled already, I'm going to continue to call on the energy of Sagittarius. All my Sagittariuses out there. This is a mid-month reading for the sign of Sagittarius, uh, a general reading spirit. Uh, we're looking at the energies from the past, the present, and future. Um, this reading is good from March 22nd through April the 2nd, approximately, of course. We're, we're, the closer I am to when I do your reading, uh, the closer we are to the date of your reading, or the dates of your reading, uh, the more accurate my readings are. So, obviously, um, the present is from when you view this reading, the moment that you view this reading. The past is the past, and the future is the future. So calling on the energy of Sagittarius. What are the messages in energy spirit? Okay, I'm getting the Nine of Pentacles as a message from spirit, which tells me that uh, one of my guys is responding to your energy uh, already, Sagittarius. Spirit, what are the messages and energies for Sagittarius, Sagittarius Sun, Moon, and Rising, my Sages? Such as the archers of the zodiac. What are the messages and energy spirit that you have for my Sagittarius? It says Sagittarians. Sagittarius. Says. Messages and energies for my Sagittarius's. Spirit, what are the messages and energies that you have for my Sagittarius's? We're looking at the dates of March 22nd through April 2nd, approximately. What are the messages and energies for Sagittarius? Okay, they're saying, please do one more, and then we'll be ready to cut the cards here. Okay. Messages and energies for Sagittarius spirit. I apologize if my voice is a little hoarse. That's just where it is today. <laughs> it has nothing to do with my lack of I have plenty of sleep. I have plenty. Okay, so we're looking at the recent past. This row, uh, Ace of Wands, Six of Pentacles, Knight of Swords coming up with the, the Eight of Wands, and the uh, nine, uh, I'm sorry, nine of cups. Okay, going into the present situation, we have the four of cups, the eight of cups, the seven of swords, the nine of swords reversed. All right, let me swing this over here for you guys. I'm afraid it's going to fall over, but it never does. Okay. In the future, we have the Queen of Swords reversed. She's coming up with star, the star reversed. The Four of Swords reversed. The Knight of Pentacles reversed with the King of... Okay. Two core cards. I have to put down another one. Seven of Wands reversed. Uh, so that was the Knight of Pentacles reversed coming up with the Seven of Wands reversed. Uh, we end with the King of Swords reversed, coming up with the Six of Wands reversed. Your outcome is the Nine of Wands reversed. Um, all right, I'll draw one more card there. Uh-huh, okay. Okay, Sagittarius is... Let's take a look at your cards. So it looks like things were going pretty well in what looks to be your recent past because we have the Ace of Wands, the Six of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords with the Eight of Wands, and then the Knight of Cu Nine of Cups. So the little story that I'm seeing here in your recent past, and of course, you know, these energies are mutable. Um, they can run into each other throughout the month, but uh, I see that you started off... Um, we got a lot of creative energy recently. Um, you might have started a new creative project. You might have had a new love interest. Uh, you might have um, gone into some, started a project that you've always wanted to start, you know, 
picked up that hammer, picked up those nails. Um, if you're a woman, if you're into crafting or, or anything artistic or you have a creative streak, you know, this ace is powerful. It's a creative, uh, it's uh, engenders creativity, right? Along with that, we have the Six of Pentacles, which tells me that you are likely feeling very generous, Sagittarius. Generous in terms of your time and money, generous in terms of your uh, giving nature, um, willing to help out a friend, willing to, you know, it's effortlessness when it comes to giving and taking. And everyone goes through cycles of this. Here you are, I see you being very giving, very generous of your time, of yourself. I have an air sign that came into your life. He or she would have been a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. This can also represent fast-moving energy. Uh, Knights are typically goal-directed. Um, they know exactly what they want, and they go for it. Um, they, the fact that they're not kings, and we had a, I had a convert. Well, I shouldn't say I had a conversation. Uh, I often do talk to other tarot readers now and then. And so even when I get my personal readings done, you know, things come up. And so it was interesting because uh, one of my one of my friends who's a tarot reader, she mentioned how, you know, the Knight of Swords, because he's not a king, um, he doesn't have that austerity, uh, that that coldness about him. He can still balance his emotions. So he's not going to be totally rational, but he's also not going to be totally unemotional. So you've struck some sort of balance where someone who comes into your life very fast, they're goal directed, they're, they're gonna be quick banter, it's gonna be, uh, uh, this also can speak to movement, okay? Because coming up with the Eight of Wands, travel, movement, right? Communications. I saw communications coming in for you. Things were, you know, picked up for you. Um, so yeah, it, it's light. I see lighthearted, uh, generous energy in your past. And then with the nine of cups here, it just tells me that you are enjoying life. You were indulging in, uh, Venusian pleasures, food, wine, friends. You're a good guy. You're a good girl. You, um, I mean, a good person to be around. You're a fun person to be around. You, you were enjoying life, Sagittarius. Okay, so that's what I have to say about your recent past. Things looked to be going reasonably well for you. Um, I certainly would have loved to have would have would love to have these cards in my recent past as well. Okay, so th that's what I'm trying to tell you. And of course, you probably already know this. Now, going into your present situation. We have something rapidly progressing here. We go from the Four of Cups to the Eight of Cups to the Seven of Swords and then back to the Nine of Swords, or I should say to the Nine of Swords, uh, which is in reverse. So we see you have a situation here where you're kind of bored, kind of laying around, eh, I don't really like doing that, that's not interesting. Mm, someone's offering to do this or to go do that and you just can't be bothered. Maybe you have low energy. Maybe you aren't feeling up to it. Whatever, you've withdrawn. All right, you 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 know you're you're not satisfied with any of the offers on the table. Okay, and because of that, we have the Eight of Cups, which tells me that you're walking away uh, from some situation. It doesn't have to be as dramatic as that. It can just be that uh, you're you're a little soulful. You're you're going on a little soul journey this month. You've uh, Things haven't totally been uh, what you wanted or what you expected or what you hoped for, and you're looking for something better. Uh, so this does require a period of solitude a little bit. And um, now for females, whenever I see moon in any of my tarot cards, it does tell me that this is related to a moon cycle, um, related to um, a phase of the moon here, uh, which looks to be, um, well, there's a crescent and then there's also a full moon here. So it can tell me that there's a phase of the moon here. So it could be the dark of the moon. It could be, uh, the new moon, uh, probably most likely a waxing or a waning. Uh, I'm going to go with, um, 
a waxing moon here, uh, waxing type of moon. Um, so hasn't fully built up energy, the energy, or actually the energy probably is diminishing here with this moon cycle. So you likely were walking away from a situation to be on your own, to figure out what you needed because your needs weren't being met or whatever. So going on this soul journey, Seven of Swords comes in. Um, well, if this is your energy, Sagittarius, I see you uh, taking time to do things the way that you want to do them, okay? Seven, Seven of Swords does not always represent someone who's getting away with something or stealing or cheating. It can also represent someone who is simply doing things the way that they need to be done in their own interests. So this is you being self-interested, which is not bad at all. There's nothing wrong with saying like, I need to do things my way because uh, if I don't do them my way, no one's gonna do them right, right? Um, this is you looking after yourself here, okay? Seven of Swords. Uh, the Nine of Swords in reverse, uh, this is coming in towards the end of this week probably, or even over the weekend. I likely see you feeling pressured about some situation or or walking away from some situation that um, is putting too much pressure on you. You know, it can be stress, it could be anxiety, it could just be something that um, you just can't be bothered with. Um, now, the Nine of Swords to me does typically mean pressure, uh, stress, anxiety, um, dwelling in your head you know, mental anxiety, um, just being kind of on edge about something. So I don't know what that is. I don't, obviously don't have any core cards showing up in this week for you. Um, so uh, something's bothering you. We'll, we'll get to the bottom of that. Let's move into the future here. We have the Queen of Swords reversed coming up with the Star reversed, the Four of Swords reversed, the Pen, the the Knight of Pentacles reversed with the Seven of Wands reversed. And then we have the King of Swords reversed with the Six of Wands reversed. So I'm um, actually, uh, I'm either getting three people here or I'm getting two people. One of them who um, picks up strength here or picks up on their, uh, gets, you know, their, their, their energy intensifies towards the end of the week. Uh, I'm getting an air sign and an earth sign. If you are a Sag that has a, a rising air sign or a moon uh, sign that's in an air sign, air signs are Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini, then um, I may be picking up on your energy. This could also represent someone else in your life. So with the Queen of Swords reversed, coming up with the star reversed, um, which the clarifier tells me what the person is doing. So you have an air sign in your life. Again, this could be you if you have a rising or moon sign and an air sign. Um, I see someone either quitting a job or letting go of someone in their life, like actually breaking up with someone. Because I, I'm that's how I program my cards whenever I see the Queen of Swords reverse. Someone is being excessively harsh with their words or is like cutting something out of their life. This person is likely feeling hopeless uh, or optimistic, but they aren't taking the steps that they need to take. They need to take in order to reach their full potential. So, um, uh, whoever this person is is causing a break in your life. I see a break uh, being taken, a vacation from this person, a vacation away from someone. Um, the Four of Swords reverse tells me extended uh, break, mental break, um, rest, uh, rejuvenation, taking time for oneself. But this period can go on for a bit long, a uh, bit longer than it needs to go on. Um, just something to keep in mind. Again, I don't know who these people are. We have the Knight of Pentacles reversed, which is an earth sign. So Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. And this person is stuck. Uh, they don't know how to move forward. And I also feel like they are um, feeling overwhelmed 
they like they can't speak up for themselves like they don't have the ability to say what they need to say or they they can't um they are uh perhaps falling under um criticism or or they have a lot of obstacles in their way and it's going to take a lot of work for this person to try and communicate with this person when there's this giant break in between them when there's this time out you know this extended uh vacation so someone's feeling helpless and has uh obviously said some things and this person is feeling stuck and like they've just been knocked over so it looks like there's some kind of uh I want to say some kind of, uh, there's a situation here. Let's just put it that way. And um, coming up uh, next to the night is another air sign, the King of Swords reversed with the Six of Wands reversed. So um, if this is different from this queen, uh, another thing I wanted to say is when the King of Swords is reversed, I definitely see someone who is, being excessively forceful with their words, excessively harsh. Um, they are, they have no soft edges. They may just like storm in to your, they might just storm around and, and do things and say things that are off the cuff and a little rough around the edges. And uh, this person is behaving in a immoral fashion. Uh, they, they aren't, uh, they aren't being a leader. They aren't, um, they haven't received any praise for what they've done. They obviously are, uh, no one's cheering for them. No one's happy about their, what they're doing. And they likely know this because they don't feel victorious. They feel like they are, uh, being blocked from victory. Okay. So this is a situation that I'm seeing again. My readings are very specific, even though they're general. So if this makes no sense to you, um, or if this does not actually happen to you, then uh, this likely is not a reading that is meant for you. In the outcome position, I have the Nine of Wands with the reversed, with the Eight of Pentacles reversed. So the situation ends up with, I feel like you giving up. Sagittarius, you don't want to persevere. You, you just, I think you feel like you've been through a war here or been through some kind of battle situation. I do see you dropping your guard, but it's like you kind of, um, you know, you've been through so much and now you're like, is it even worth it? Because I don't feel like you want to put the work into it anymore. It's just been so much. You, you've put so much energy into the situation that I feel like at the end of the day, this is what you're saying. I, I'm not putting any more effort into the situation. I'm not putting any more work into it. I'm not going to study this person. I'm not going to, I'm not going to put any more effort into it. So that's kind of the feeling that I'm getting. And, um, obviously if you are caught in between some kind of situation here, uh, that is, uh, draining you or putting pressure on you, I mean, yeah, you're not going to want to stick around for that. So, um, let's, uh, let me pull an Oracle card. Let's see what, um, what spirit wants to, uh, what spirit wants to talk about to you Sagittarius this month. Now this message is meant to complement the reading. So if there's anything that you're unclear on, uh, please ask Spirit uh, for clarification. Uh, ask Spirit now uh, to come through. And um, I'm asking for you as well to provide guidance and um, motivation and uh, understanding for Sagittarius this month so they can come out with more clarity and more purpose. So let's take a look. All right, the card that I pulled for you is simply love. 
which I believe I got this for Leo this month as well. It's a gorgeous card and um, I think that it's going to uh, reveal some things to you that you may or may not be aware of. Now the green um, borders those resonate with the cups. So this is like the Six of Cups, in my opinion. No, not in my opinion, actually, in the uh, booklet here. Okay, keywords are innocence, nostalgia, kindness, children. People often fondly remember the innocence of youth as a time when life seems simpler. This card is a call to action to bring that innocence and energy into the present and into your relationships. As much as you can, interact with others from a pure and open heart, full of love and free of ulterior motives. Do this and you'll find that your relationships will deepen and require far less effort. When you reminisce about your past, bring back only the happy memories and cherish them. Kindness and generosity are at the forefront when this card appears. Look for ways to help family and friends, especially children. Reach out to them and assist them in any way that you can. Sometimes just a bit of attention is all that someone needs. Where kindness prevails, relationships flourish. And if you're hoping to become pregnant or adopt a child, this card is a positive sign. Yes, well, uh, interesting message here, and um, I hope that you remember this message uh, throughout the rest of this month going into April as uh, a call or a reminder just to simply love, um, be carefree, uh, live in your innocence, um, or have fun, bring only the good memories with you and leave the bad memories behind as much as you can. Uh, especially when it comes to family. Um, have faith that people uh, are trying their best and sometimes they are not at their best. And though you may care for them and be around them and sometimes it can be difficult, especially if it's family, um, you know, just be there for them. Just, just love them. Just uh, be patient. And uh, yeah, I, I do feel like you are extremely, a extremely generous person this month. Uh, Sagittarius and I know that it it can be hard when people are you know they want a piece of you you know they want a piece of that so just remember that um, you know people look up to you and um, yeah just just be in this just be in this energy and green actually is a wonderful color for you to wear because it stimulates uh, the heart chakra, which opens up your heart and promotes love uh, coming into your life and um, vital, vital energy. So thank you for joining me for your mid-month readings. And uh, remember, next month, the generals will be on my Patreon. So if you want to join Patreon for $1 a month, you'll get your general readings, mid-month readings there. The love forecast will be up in April uh, as usual on my YouTube channel so be sure to come back for those and then um, if you want to book a private reading there's a, a link in the description for you to do that also check out my new scheduling application um, on my toolbar there it says book a reading love and light peace many blessings to you take care Sagittarius bye bye